Alrighty guys, this is Harry Muppet. Welcome back to the Harry Bash. We have passed the quarterfinals. We have knocked all of the non-Zerg players out of the tournament. And it is down to ZVZVZVZ. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm... Yeah, let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. Let's not bemoan the fact that all the Protoss players and all the Terran players got knocked out. Let's just enjoy the beauty that is ZVZ because if you have been wanting me to cast more ZVZs you are going to get your wish because it's all ZVZ from now on so anyway let's get into it uh, player down the bottom side of the map is going to be Petraeus he is of course the winner of Harry Bash 1 extremely awesome and we know that he knows how to ZVZ because he played some awesome games versus Pig in the grand final of the previous uh, Harry Bash the final ace match actually went for two hours game time. It's simply extraordinary. So, yeah. And he pr actually beat Proza in the quarterfinals, as a Protoss player, in two games with a lot of Roach and Hydra play. Just, ah, completely overwhelmed him. So, great stuff there. And now, against the Zerg player, Mighty Kiwi, he is going for a spawning pool first, which is not a bad idea. Uh, Mighty Kiwi actually doing the same thing as well. He's gone for uh, a very early spawning pool, actually, has Mighty Kiwi. And yes, he is going to be doing some very, very early damage by the looks of it. Going to try and catch Petraeus off his guard, which is going to be interesting. Uh, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. What is this, a bailing nest? Man, this, this is going to be some crazy stuff going on here. So anyway... Let's talk about these players for a sec, because um, I forgot to mention it before. Uh, Mighty Kiwi actually defeated Probe, the Probe, the Protoss player, in the quarterfinals. So they both defeated Protoss players to get here, and Mighty Kiwi defend, uh, defeated him two games to zero. But it was uh, it was it wasn't quite a ruffle stomp as much as uh, Petraeus's games where Mighty Kiwi he. Uh, he actually, the first game he had a little bit of trouble, he went for three gate, uh, three bases, and the um, probe went like five gate against him, or something like that, and it was quite crazy, so he actually really, really had a bit of trouble trying to deal with that. Oh, the Ling's coming across, is Petraeus going to run up? Is he just going to chase these Ling's? He's going to run up, he sees the Banelings, he sees the Banelings, Petraeus, instantly Spinecrawler coming up in his base. Another Spinecrawler coming up in his base. Is he going to build a third? I would not blame him if he decided to build a third because... There he goes. Just trying to get the Balins away from his uh, <laughs> his base. He's trying to buy time for his Spinecrawlers to get up. So far, Petraeus doing a phenomenal job against this very, very, very crazy amount of play. I think the Spinecrawlers are going to be up in time. Here we go. The Queen's coming out. Going to be doing as much damage as he can. Going to try and snipe the Banelings. One Baneling gets sniped by the Queen. Another one coming in, the spine crawler snipes another bailing. The queen starting to take some damage, but the third bailing without a good option explodes against the queen. And if the queen survives here, I gotta say, brilliant hold there by Petraeus, absolutely brilliant. And now he's gonna be bumping up a couple more spine crawlers, or the same spine crawlers, just moving them forward. And Mighty Kiwi is uh, not doing as well as he otherwise would have liked. All of those guys were masterfully taken down by Petraeus. And yeah, the spine crawlers. He bought himself time for the spine crawlers, and that was really where you say, "Oh my God, Petraeus is awesome!" Because he bought time for those spine crawlers, and he did a fantastic job doing it. So now he's pushing out again. Mighty Kiwi does have a bunch of lings. Petraeus losing no time in getting that hatchery back up again. He thinks he's in a good position. I think he's in a not bad position. I mean, Mighty Kiwi, he's got. A bad economy right now, 11 over 18. So, I think that Petraeus can actually deal with these li with this Ling aggression, with this Bailing aggression, and at the same time build a hatchery and be able to get away with it. And Mighty Kiwi, yeah, I don't know, man. He, I don't know. He put all of his eggs in one basket, and he threw the basket at the wall, and it kind of splattered all over the place. So. <laughs> Yeah, Petraeus managed to dodge the basket, and Petraeus took out the victory, so there's a bit of a ballsy plan by Mighty Kiwi, it didn't really pay off, and yeah, he's going to have to, he's going to have to try something else next game, maybe, maybe he just goes uh, long term, see if he can beat off that against Petraeus, but 
I don't know. We'll move on to that game. We'll see how it goes. And all I can say is the good part about these games being so short is it's not going to take me a day to upload them, which is good. So anyway, <laughs> moving on, moving on. Uh, let's go on to game number two. Let's check it out. This has been Harry Muppet. I hope you enjoyed this game. <laughs>